Hello guys, this is Oxman. Can I bring you a, another video? Um, this is Armour 2. Um, if you didn't know that, you're probably new to the channel. Um, the uh, purpose of this video is to go through the optimization of graphics as well, how I've actually, you know, gone to you know, understand it. Obviously, there might be a better guides out there on this, but I haven't found any. Um, the purpose of this is obviously to show you how to get the best frame rates on your computer and how to make it as soft and nice as possible. Now, I will not be able to change the graphics on the go, um, therefore, I will just explain them. Uh, if I do that, traps will crash and everything is just turned into the shit. Right, so go into video options, put up advanced. Right, so what we have here, this is the visibility. That's how far um, you can see. If I drag this down, I'll be able to, you know, modify how far uh, I would be able to see. And if you pull back, you know, there's going to be less objects that are uh, processed. So if this is going to be a lot of objects, it's going to be an object count of, you know, uh, maybe 10,000. Uh, meters in the uh, radius <clears throat> and if you put it down you're gonna count less objects because you will not be able to see them so there's no real reason to actually render them um, obviously so um, what's that? what's that? okay never mind um, brightness obviously the same thing as everything gamma uh, like in every game um, doesn't change much just keep it at 1 and 1 unless you're playing DayZ and you want to shoot during the night Right, so the texture detail, <clears throat> I use it very high. Uh, you can put these um, to either normal, low, high, you know, very high. Um, it does make a huge difference. The video memory, uh, the memory on your card, the graphics card, um, can either be used on default, very high, or you know, it's the same thing here. Um, I prob, I if I didn't have a very good computer, I'd put it to default. Um, if I <coughs> noticed a huge change in FPS, I would put it to, uh, I'd start to degrade from normal, you know, to low if necessary. Um, and I, uh, anisotropic, uh, anisotropic <laughs> filtering, uh, I'm not sure why I use normal here, but um, it basically makes the ground look a bit more sharper. It's not going to be as soft. No, I believe I can actually change that. that I need differences as you see at this point you can't really see much difference but um, that's how I uh, understand it as it is uh, anti-aliasing I don't use it right now I don't really need to because I'm flying so obviously I do not really I don't really need to have a smooth ground I mean I only see a fraction of a human being or a tank so um, you know I don't really use an uh, anti-aliasing but I can push it to very high but if you if you play this and you've tried five, six, seven, eight, you will get uh, very weird textures. I've had that before, and um, the textures just turn into shit, and uh, you know they are aren't rendered uh, properly, so they look grey, and um, it's not good. Um, A T O C. There you go. That's a new little thing. Um, uh, just added, and um, it can basically you know change the details. Um, you know, all trees and grass uh, will be thick. The actual um, trees will be thick, but if you remove it, it's going to be um, a bit shorter uh, or more compressed. <clears throat> it's not going to render as much um, of the tree. Uh, the tree itself, the object, will be um, rendered, but the blossom uh, will be higher if you have it on full. Uh, obviously, here it's not going to be shown. Um, but I've seen it when uh, zooming in on uh, and testing it myself. Terrain detail also very low for me. Uh, I don't see the terrain, uh, the grass that is. Um, so I don't really need uh, terrain detail at all. Um, object detail is the same thing. I don't really need it, but I can put it to very high. I usually do when I'm on the ground. So this is what I use on the ground, and you can see the difference. Uh, I'm still at 30 FPS. Uh, actually, no, that's going up. Yeah, 30 FPS for traps but all, sometimes I, I mean I'm I'm actually the visibility on 600 there we go so now it's pushing it a little bit 30 uh, it's a lock for wraps but I will be able to push it to 
30, 35, 40, depending on, you know, the view distance. You don't really always need 10,000 in view distance. Um, I use it at some points, but obviously when flying in gunner position, I will use 10,000. Uh, and when flying, I put it down to six to 8,000. I don't really need to see that far when I'm flying, but I do need to have a good frame rate. I need to be able to, if there is a frame drop, uh, I need to be able to, um, uh, well, recover from that very quick. Um, so it's very, very important for me to have, a, you know, stable FPS before you know I start flying. Um, shadow detail is disabled. That's the same thing. I do not need it. I am a bit afraid of changing it right now. But I think the um, graphic um, engine will actually crash, and that has happened before with fraps. And um, well, shadow. If you don't have a good computer, disable it, because that's the most... Uh, it, this and post-processing effects and anti-aliasing is the... That's what really bites. That's what's taking a shitload of uh, your power. So uh, if you don't have a good computer, if you notice that you don't have enough frame rates to feel smooth, uh, de definitely disable that, because <clears throat> it does quite a lot. Even for me, if I set it to very high, and if I set everything on very high and, and uh, I fly, on a map with uh, maybe 200, 300 enemies, uh, it's going to drop. It's going to drop to at least 15 or 20, perhaps, and um, that's basically unflyable for me. Uh, I'm a, I'm more of a smooth guy. I, smooth guy. That sounds weird. Um, no, but I definitely want to have smooth flying. Otherwise, I don't feel comfortable because, um, well, basically, if if there is an FPS drop. At the moment, when I have 15 FPS, it's going to take a while till the uh, computer actually starts rendering. Okay, you know, it's going to take a long uh, time before it recovers, and that may be the time uh, I need to, you know, fly. Obviously, if I um, have an FPS drop and then we're, you know, landing, it might just turn out for me to crash. Uh, oh, that would probably be the outcome if I drink it get FPS drops because I will not be able to actually see how much I'm descending and whatnot. So um, it's going to be very, very hard to, um, well, manage. HDR quality, uh, quality, um, quality, quality, um, the HDR quality, it's more, um, it's the blossom of things. Uh, um, you would notice it in tracers. Uh, in my trace, you can see it, it's, it's got a very bright um, fade out uh, kind of, um, um, Lights. Uh, it's a lightning effect, but you know I call it blossom because everything, all the lights are just whoop, spread out and they're more smooth. It's not a sharp tracer. It's a tracer, you know, that lights up around itself, and um, that's what it does. Uh, if you have high, I use high. I love it. Uh, very high is used too, but it can get a little bit annoying when it's too much, uh, because if you fire the A10 with very high and post-processing at very high, you're not going to see what you're hitting because the amount of glow from that is just basically going to turn your uh, visibility to zero on the crosshair, on the CIP. But um, yeah, I love it. Uh, it. I didn't know about it before, so I used uh, HDR quality to normal. And basically I had quite dull traces in combat and it, it wasn't the same. Uh, when I put very high, uh, my mind just exploded with war effects. Uh, Gods, add-ons, uh, or effects, the ASRS, what I'm using, uh, basically gave me a lot of um, nice effects, and it's been something that's um, you know been uh, been used for quite a while. It's been for uh, I think about two years or so that I've been using this, um, or maybe one year. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's been quite a while. I've been playing this game for three years, so I I, I don't really know when I started using these add-ons, but before. Um, these add-ons um, came to me. Um, I just played plain old armor, and uh, I couldn't go back right now. I played DayZ sometimes, yes, but I I can only play for a couple of hours because I'll feel that you no, know, the graphics and the effects and the sound is not just safe. Um, JSRS and WarFX is very very crucial to get a very nice ambient. Um, feeling or the atmosphere of the game is completely changed. You might not think that sounds and effects changes all the gameplay, but it definitely does. I'm more afraid of gun sounds, you know, it basically turns everything into a very, very good atmosphere. It's 
feels like combat. Now I'm moving off topic here, sorry. Um, PPAA, that's a new thing as well. You can actually put sharp filters and um, the best thing is SM SMAA, that's the best. And then you can well, degrade yourself. I used sharp filter before and you can see that it's sharp. I used it just because it looked a little bit cool when I was walking around but you know, it's, it's not that pretty. And uh, this is smooth. I, it's not huge differences right now in the screen but I reckon it's uh, you know if you want the best quality definitely use it but otherwise you can uh, you know put it as disabled. Here we come to the post processing effects one of the uh, the most important parts for your FPS ratings right now I'm using low that's the um, you'll get a little bit of blur when you're moving around if you have very high you'll get a lot of blur and that's what uh, people you know, don't like they don't really like it um, you get a little bit more glow on your traces and explosions um, and lights obviously but if you keep it to low it's going to be a bit balanced it's not going to be too much bloom of lights and it's not going to disturb your vision when you're fighting um, if you put it to very high it's it will be everything feels like it's a heat around it and it's it's very thick um, it just basically makes the game look a bit weird uh, in some cases because uh, it's too smooth it looks like you're in you know 50 degrees hot and you know um, it's way too much <laughs> uh, it looks like heat waves everywhere but um, yeah that's the post process effects interface size I have it on very small I don't really need a big interface I don't think anything else actually works on that because uh, this is also the in-game uh, factors uh, or the the HUD itself you see your ammo you see your stands uh, you see your chat and everything that's the interface size aspect ratio it's what it is it's uh, <laughs> the different different aspect um, ratios for your screen v-sync I have no uh, it's vertical synchronization and um, um, I use it because it makes it a bit smoother for me uh, if it this is something you have to check yourself some graphic cards are actually better with vsync and some are not and uh, I noticed that before when I had a pretty bad computer I had ATI cards and uh, I believe vsync actually improved my FPS even though I thought it would be the other way but this is something you have to exercise yourself or put it to practice and see if uh, so if it actually works for you, um, check the different stuff. Here is the presets, very high, I have very high on, I think, obviously very high. But um, interface resolution, the resolution of your screen. And then the 3D resolution, this is uh, important. If you put it to this, uh, it, it matches itself, it's going to be sharp, it's going to be normal, it's not going to be um, ugly. But if you start turning it down, it's going to look very low quality um, because you're basically drawing out the picture, which is very bad for the object, and it very it looks very very bad. Um, I'll uh, uh, also if you improve it, the frame rates is going to drop drastically. I mean, it's going to look a bit smoother, but it's not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth it. yeah. Um, well, the a frame loss. Obviously if you have a beast that's a computer you can obviously use it. If you stay at 30 FPS while having 200, well yeah, good luck. <laughs> um, very nice for you but um, for those of you who have, doesn't have the best computers don't um, use this to improve your FPS unless you're if everything else is changed to low and um, you still have bad FPS then you might go down a little bit but don't do it too much because it will look like crap and it won't even be worth playing the game um, but yeah that's the uh, different graphics that you can change in this game um, I'll um, go out and um, this here is very high I'm going to stop recording and then record again and uh, after I change the settings I'm gonna put it to very low and I'm gonna show you what I mean with the 3d resolution so here we go right here we go um, as you can see, uh, it looks rather shite. Uh, I have everything on low now, and the 3D resolution is its uh, almost half the size of my screen. 
So what I'm gonna show you now is this is the lowest graphics you can possibly have, and I'll put up my uh, my 3D resolution to max or to well, uh, well first to the full size of the screen and then to 200 percent. So let's do that. And here you can see this is the normal one, and you can see it it looks 40 times better. Uh, it's not drawn out. It doesn't look shit. It's still low quality, but you know it, it still looks like a game. Right, let's try 200. Here we go. <clears throat> I did not notice that much of a difference. Um, it will, however, be lots of difference if you put, you know, put up the graphics a little bit more. And uh, I'll show you also how the max graphics looks like. Um, here you go. That's nine FPS for well. 200% so I'm gonna pull it down to 100% and we'll see how that looks and there you go that's the max graphics you can get without using 3D, res 3D resolutions on max you know I can still get a pretty stable FPS on this so um, this has been um, what I'm supposed to do with the whole video even though I went off topic a little bit um, th this is how you optimize a game I will set down a little bit of command in um, the description it will basically allow you to uh, get more smooth rates um, you can use if you have dual core if you have a quad core you can put that in so the uh, game actually uses all those uh, CPUs and the same thing for memory the max memory is 2047 uh, counting on the series it's actually 2048 um, but that's the amount of um, amount of um, memory you can use. The game doesn't really change if you have 10 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it will only take two. So um, yeah, that's been the video. I hope this helped you. If it did, comment below, like and subscribe to my channel and you'll be seeing a lot more footage that actually has action in it. And obviously I also have Iron Front videos and lots of other videos. But yeah, um, this is how you optimize your game. Um, if you have questions, further questions or notes, feedback, anything, please put it down in the comment section below. But not have a good, <laughs> great day. I'll turn out.